Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. This is a follow-up edition to where I was showing the back of the DaVinci uh, 2.0 and, and how to remove the back cover and everything. So basically what we've done is we've uh, taken the Dremel uh, with a very fine bit um, basically what I used for the CNC, if I get in the frame there. Um, so I think it's 0 .04 inches or 1.1 millimeter, and I cut um, an opening. And then I took a very small file and filed it, being very careful, again, not to get, uh, you know, any dust or anything inside the, the opening. And again, you have to cut very shallow, so I used about half the speed on the Dremel. I actually got a pretty clean cut. I was happy with that. And then, uh, you know, basically use some compressed air to kind of keep blowing it out. Um, so uh, we got that. And then basically there was a piece of tape, uh, this kind of funky metal tape, uh, uh, covering or, or locking the card into the slot. And then you have to be kind of careful. And this is kind of a pain to get in and out. But now you can see, remove it, and you can see it's a 4 gigabyte class 4 card. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this to the computer and then take a look at what files are on this card and, and the different kind of stuff. Uh, because again, I'm going to order um, an SD card extender for this. So I can, uh, when this door shut, run it through here and then... Um, you know, put it on the side or something like that, so I can just slip the card in there, so I can, you know, take the card, um, use uh, Repetier Host, uh, put the code on here, put the header files, I may actually even write a little program to do the header files for me automatically, and then just plug it in the side of this rather than, you know, having to go through this whole rigmarole going through the side, but it is, um, you know, because, well, how hard is it? Well, at the back off, it's fairly easy to see. Now, one of the things you be, you know, kind of be careful of is this is static sensitive. To get it back out, though, it does require it to be pushed from the inside. So, um, we could put a kind of like um, a loop of tape on here to kind of tug it out or something like that. I think the um, SD card extender would be the best bet. So, anyways, let's um, go over to the computer and take a look, see what's on on this card. Okay, we're now back at the computer and we have the uh, uh, SD card plugged in. And so basically we see the files on the SD card are add check 2.0. Um, why isn't the one showing? So we have add check 1.0, add check 2.0, last temperature, machine life, uh, offline print code, which appears to be the file which gets dumped to the machine. Uh, from XYZware and then three sample G code files. Now um, I tried looking into the um, ad check files and basically they're um, I don't know if they're encrypted or just not a standard just not a standard format. Um, so you can see they're just kind of crap so uh, not sure what's there. Um, but uh, if we look at the offline print code, I've already got it queued up here, uh, we can see that uh, apparently it, it, it puts some sort of header in, um, which is rather interesting because it's got the semicolons in front of it. However, it gives the name of the file, um, print time, and all this other information, and... Um, then it has this uh, these other M codes with again colons in front. And I'm not sure why the colons, and then it just jumps down here to um, you know to the regular G code stuff. You know, starts with a M107, M21 set units to millimeters, um, and then it's pretty much all standard G code all the way to the end till you hit disable motors. So. Um, pretty straightforward so again I think you know if we simply move this header over and again I'm going to try some experimentations it, it should should work and um, 
So let's take a look at one of the sample programs. So we'll take a look at sample one. Um, so again, pretty much like this, uh, again, you see layer height, total layers. And I'm not sure if this actually does something. This is kind of interesting. Dimensions. Um, and extruder equals three. Um, so interesting. So I want to go back and um, and if I look at this, so yes, it's got some sort of dimension here. Um, extruder filament, um, extruder. So it tells it, it says what extruder to use. Number two which is correct because that's the extruder that uh, I had told it to use in XYZ where um, set temperature uh, S200, S200, T1, M109 uh, use so anyways I'm not sure what this dimension is if this matters or um, if this is something that it uses internally so uh, filament amount total filament um, I don't know again if it's getting this from XYZ where I'll have to look at a couple of the examples uh, also it's you know shelf thickness and speed um, you know I recognize all of these from uh, the um, XYZ where so uh, again, extruder equals two, so it has two extruders. So it must pick up the the actual um, support material extruder. Support material equals zero. So it appears that I would have to set all these, but I think I probably set up a a custom header inside of uh, Repetier to do this for me. Uh, print time, of course, you know, obviously print time, and, and that is going to be uh, a little bit fictitious, but who cares? Um, you know, it finishes when it finishes. Um, just kind of looking through, but uh, not a lot of stuff there. It just basically seems to be using the SD card as a scratch card uh, for the most part. So, anyways, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to actually uh, work on a job. I'm going to queue up and use Cura Repetier Host and create one of my own files and see about running it on here and see what happens. So uh, I'll do another video on that. So again, just kind of wanted to share uh, with you kind of what I'm doing, kind of thoughts. And if you've done this before, hey, put some comments below. I'd be happy to hear from somebody else that has done this. Because again, I don't have a problem with the cartridges, but the, the bed not coming up to temperature and uh, the crappy slicer, uh, just, the, the, you know, u utilizing, you know, Cura, or, or, or um, slicer and, and all that other stuff. I mean, they're, they're just so much better than the crappy XYZ slicer. Um, you know, that's where I, I wouldn't even mind if they locked us into the cartridges and, you know, allowed you to use a decent slicer or repeteer or so. But uh, anyways, uh, I guess I've rambled about that point enough. So cheers and see you in the next video.